Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackie Educational Channel. So nowadays you all will be thinking about the results and all. So कुछ time के लिए results के बारे में भूल जाइए because don't focus on what the results will be. Focus on the preparation and the process. So process means you have to learn every day and every time. And today in this video we are going to learn some of the confusing questions which came in UGC NET June 2020 examination in the NET Environmental Science paper. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So here we will not only discuss the question but we will know how to find the answers also. So the first question which was very confusing was related to the fusion reaction. Yes, most of the students have done wrong in this but some of the students have also done well and have correctly given the answer. So the question was the maximum cross section for the fusion reaction of this one is deuterium and this one is tritium you should know this one is reached at energies of nuclei at which kilo electron volt so these were the four options given and most of the students have selected this option that is fourth number approximately around 17.6 kilo electron volt because ye bahut bar aapne dekha hoga kahin na kahin and it was in your mind that's why you have selected this option first of all let us discuss why this option was there in your mind because this amount of energy is released when the reaction takes place between deuterium and tritium in the fusion reaction so in dono ka jab fusion reaction hota hai to itna amount of energy release hota hai that is 17.6 mega electron volt so actually it is mega electron volt if you have selected kilo electron volt also it is wrong so actually the option 4 is wrong and if at all you are knowing 17.6 you should know it is 17.6 mega electron volt of energy which is released in the form of kinetic energy and this energy are divided into 14.1 mega electron volt for producing the neutron as you can see here this is deuterium and tritium and 3.5 mega electron volt of energy is released when alpha particle that is helium 2 and 4 is released in the form of this so ye jo hai this is known as the question is asking about the cross section so why it is asking about cross section you should know this one also because cross section the cross section means in the fusion reaction the probability of a reaction to take place so how much of energy required it is asking how much of energy is needed for this reaction to take place and you should know this reaction is very much easily acceptable among all varieties of fusion reaction ji ha deuterium and tritium ka jo reaction hai bahut hi effective hota hai as compared to other reaction similarly here it is asking the amount of energy required not the amount of energy released so that's why option 4 will be wrong but what will be the correct option we will know in the next slide so jaldi se chalte hain hamare agle slide ki taraf jahan hame answer milne wala hai the correct answer will be 100 kilo electron volt yes how 100 kilo electron volt we we'll discuss here as we have known that cross section means the energy required for the reaction that is fusion reaction and here you can see this graph shows all the energies of reaction to take place for deuterium tritium deuterium deuterium and different kinds of reaction of different nucleus so as you can see here aap agar is graph ko analyze karenge so you can see here the deuterium and tritium that is blue line is determining the fusion reaction between these two and it is reaching the peak here peak yahan pe hai matlab if you are drawing a line towards the x axis directly it is reaching towards the 100 that means it is showing the x axis the center of mass energy that is in kilo electron volt which is 100 kilo electron volt for the deuterium and tritium required for their fusion reaction that is the maximum cross section reaction so that's why the option number 2 will be the correct option so i hope aapko samajh mein aaya hoga chalte hain hamare agle confusing question ki taraf ye jo question tha ye bhi bahut hi confusing tha because this question was asking good absorbers are good emitters so ye ek statement diya gaya tha and question pucha tha ki this statement refers to which of the following laws so ye kaun se law ko batata hai to yahan pe the correct option hoga वो होगा किरचॉफ्स लॉ जी हाँ लेकिन बहुत से जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं वो प्लैंक्स लॉ में यहाँ पे टिक करके आए हैं दैट विल बी रॉन्ग एंड विल नो व्हाई इट इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज वी हैव लर्न इन आवर प्लस टू इंटरमीडिएट दैट प्लैंक्स लॉ ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन बट यू शुड नो दैट इन 1859 अराउंड 
kirchhoff so kirchhoff means most of the student will be thinking about the energy in the electricity coming at the point and then going from that point that was when we studied in class 12 that is kirchhoff law but it is not stating about that kirchhoff law it is stating about the kirchhoff law which was on second law of thermodynamics so 1859 may g r kirchhoff worked on this second law of thermodynamics and stated that what he stated he stated that at thermal equilibrium the power radiated by an object must be equal to the power absorbed so that giving the same statement which is given in the question which became the ultimate basis of research for the planck so planck jo the he took that research and discovered quantum of action then he utilized his knowledge for the quantum physics and it is very difficult for me i don't know whether it is difficult for you or not but physics ka bahut difficult part tha but the reaction and the equation which he gave is known as the planck's constant which is denoted by h ji ha planck's constant ko h se denote karte hain and he did this research in 1900 so pehle 1859 mein sabse pehle jo ye idea tha ki jo substance who is a good absorber is also a good emitter was given by kirchhoff initially so that will be the correct option and we should know that kirchhoff's after kirchhoff law planck's constant is e is equal to h nu e is energy and h planck's constant value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second so note down all this point i am not just saying to discuss the question but also to note because it will help in further examination so that is the unit and also if you are taking in that electron volt per second the value will be for planck's constant 4.13 into 10 to the power minus 15 but here also different two other law were given that is wen's displacement law and stefan's law so that also we will discuss here what is that one that states that stefan's law it is giving the total power radiated at a specific temperature from an infrared source so it is telling about only infrared source and the power emitted but next is wen's law wen's law kya batate hain he describes the wavelength at which the maximum amount of energy is emitted so he is telling about the wavelength at which the maximum amount of energy is emitted so these are the small small difference between these four law you should know that and you should not get confused next time chalte hain hamare agle question ki taraf the next question was from the biomass burning which is very very bad for the environment and the next thing is it should be done in the controllable manner so leaving those things we should come the question the question was which among the following is the major product of slow pyrolysis of biomass so yahan pe pucha gaya slow pyrolysis i am giving it more concentration because it is different from the normal pyrolysis yes hum janenge iske bare mein pehle jaan lete answer kya hoga answer hoga number 2 number 3 number 4 no it will be number 1 biochar so biochar jo hai wo produce hota hai slow pyrolysis mein so chalte hain hamare next slide mein there are three different kinds of important pyrolysis ji ha usse pehle hum jaan lete hain pyrolysis kya hai सो पायरोलिसिस का जो डेफिनेशन है पायरोलिसिस इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ए केमिकली डिकम्पोजिंग ऑर्गेनिक मटेरियल्स एट हायर टेम्परेचर सो हायर टेम्परेचर इफ यू आर बर्निंग देम इन द एबसेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो दैट्स द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू शुड नोट इट डाउन दैट पायरोलिसिस मीन्स वी आर नॉट गिविंग द ऑक्सीजन सो एबसेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन पायरोलिसिस टेक्स प्लेस एंड टू डिफरेंट थिंग दैट इज कम्बस्टन एंड इंसिनेशन सो इंसिनेशन इज ए काइंड ऑफ कम्बस्टन इन विच द presence of oxygen is there so oxygen is present in case of combustion and incineration but in pyrolysis it is not given so that's the basic difference you should know it also comes in examination what are the three kinds of pyrolysis there slow pyrolysis flash pyrolysis and fast pyrolysis so what are the difference basic difference i will tell no need to go deep basic difference is in slow pyrolysis maximum product is biochar so that was the question so here the correct option will be one as we know but you should know also the different two things because in next exam it may come so in flash pyrolysis 75% is bio oil that is the maximum thing bio oil is uh, we get from the flash pyrolysis and the limitation is that the what are the drawbacks it has the poor thermal stability and corrosiveness of the oil and also solids in the oil makes it difficult to burn next thing is fast pyrolysis so fast pyrolysis mein jo maximum compound form hota hai wo hota hai 60% bio oil so here also bio oil is the main product in addition to 20% biochar and 20% syngas so you should know slow pyrolysis yields biochar in maximum concentration chalte hain hamare agle question ki taraf next question was from statistics so statistics 
by reading the question itself people are having heart attack so it should not be that case i am telling you very good example and this was very easy if you know the formula so the question was if sigma x is 230 and sigma x square is 6500 and number of observation that is n is equal to 10 then what will be the value of standard deviation so the students who are not having the basic completely strong then they were not able to do this one but we will know today no matter whether you know or not today we will learn because every day you should learn something the thing is to solve this kind of things first of all write the given so given is sigma x 230 sigma x square 6500 and the number of observation is 10 so we have to find out standard deviation standard deviation nikalna hai question mark de denge the formula to solve this is this one this is the brahmastr standard deviation is if you are given sigma x and sigma x square then the formula is sigma x square divided by n minus sigma x by n whole square so these two are different thing because here n is not having the square but here n is having the square so what we will do now we'll simply put the values so 6500 by 10 that means 650 Similarly, 230 square will be 52900, and after solving this, we'll get root over of 121. So 121 ka root over hai 11, and option me 11 tha. Option number three will be the correct option. So agar apko ye question ka formula pata hai, ab asani se kar pate. So do remember this formula, and don't forget next time. Let's move to the next question. The next question was not confusing, but it was a bit. tricky so the question was we have to arrange these four minerals in the decreasing order of hardness so hardness we are using mohs scale for determining the hardness of minerals and we had to arrange these four in decreasing order that means higher to lower so higher hardness to lower hardness that is softness we can say so here the correct option will be option number 3 that is dcba so it looks cool also dcba going down so let's see why it will be dcba because we are having the mohs scale in front of your screen so we can see here here it is given topaz so topaz ka jo hardness hai that is according to mohs scale it is 8 next is we are coming to feldspar feldspar is having 6 similarly fluorite that is in d is having the hardness 4 and the gypsum which is very very less hard that is we can say it is soft so it is having the hardness as 2 so according to the scale 8642 so dcba topaz followed by feldspar then fluorite and gypsum will be the correct decreasing order among these four minerals so i hope you enjoyed this video similarly we will bring more videos for you and you can prepare well for the environmental science exam we will learn together and you can also join us on instagram and telegram group the link is provided in the description below and we will discuss completely about june 2020 net examination stay tuned for further updates and yes अगर आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द नोटिफिकेशन आइकन टू गेट फर्दर अपडेट्स एज सुन एज आई अपडेट एनी वीडियो सो सी यू गाइज इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो